What's up guys, Markers here, and today I got a video for you guys where we're going to be commentating and kind of going over some 1v2s that I've had from the, the, the stream. Uh, this is something I wanted to do because sometimes like when these 1v2 scenarios come down, like I, I don't, I do try to commentate on my stream like what uh, I'm doing, but I don't always have the opportunity to talk about what I'm looking for and kind of where I try to find my kill windows. And how to live certain situations that get really sketchy. Um, so we have we have a few videos here today. We're gonna go through so this first video. This is against a resto shaman and a warrior. Um, I think this is just when my my partner dies. Um, both are on half health. Both don't have trinkets. So this is a pretty good situation to try to take advantage of for the one v two. So let's start playing this through here. <laughs> here I actually almost surrender, but I don't. Of course, we gotta go with one v two. Alright, so, in my head right now, I'm like, maybe there is a chance. Before I hit that surrender, I was, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I looked over here, I saw no trinkets. Whenever you have no trinkets, and you have a trinket up, and one of your offensive trinkets up, that is always a nice kill window to try to take advantage of. So, in my head, I'm going to wait, I'm going to be waiting out this stun DR, and uh, waiting for my voodoo doll to be up. Because those are going to be my two important things, because it looks like I already have shot meld up. Everything else would come into place at, the, at that point. Um, but make sure before I go... I'm gonna make sure I don't die, right? So I gotta keep an eye on this warrior, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pre-hot myself before. There we go, iron bark. Pre-hotted myself up a little bit. All right. So again, we got a burst proc up here. This is when I was running surge of vitality. Um, we have everything that we think we're gonna. I, I don't think I could afford to wait 15 seconds for the bash. So I'm gonna have to go off the shadow meld and uh, the voodoo doll. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for here, because he he is kind of pretty low. We could definitely take advantage of it and maybe kill in that small window, that six second window. Um, and something I did here that I um, that I didn't say is because the fact I didn't have my bash up, I know that I, I can't, I don't have like the double stun window to secure the voodoo doll. So what I actually did there is I actually used the voodoo doll before, a little before the shadow meld to get some, maybe get some of the ticking time down. Because if you guys don't know how voodoo doll works, it, it, it's like a six second dot, and at the end it does a big explosion. And that's what we want to look for. If, if we can cover that explosion, it's going to be really effective. So I voodoo doll first, and then I go for the shadow meld into a bike because I have five combo points, and then I got a nice gnarly crit off the um, off the voodoo doll and then so the first thing whenever i get one of these kills just to go back here first thing that happens when i get one of these kills is i gotta think how the heck am i gonna live because if i can get the restoth that's all i need if i can get the restoth i could take care of the rest so my my first instinct is we got we have a z-axis here we're gonna try to proc a leap really quick a little juke so i end up jumping off leap back on you got the warrior secure my health Gotta run away from this guy. As long as I can just get one re stealth, that's always gonna be my goal. One re stealth, and then I can win the game from there. But once you get once you get the stealth off, all it is is hitting running. All right, so we got the re stealth there. We're hot it up, and now all we have to do is not get knocked out by that leap, which we don't. Nice, and then we uh, so basically we just wait this out. We have our uh, stuns up, and this is kind of what I do in pretty much all of my one v one situations: is hit and run, go in, rake stun, maybe throw a rip. And then throw a Moonfire or a Concentrate of Flame as I walk away. And then get behind a pillar and get another re-stealth. So do it again. See, so I'm in stealth again. This guy's got War Banner up, it looks like. So we're going to try to wait wait for that to go away. We're going to wait for the Stun DR to fall here. And then we're going to go back in. Do the same thing. I think I have my Electrostatic Potential Bracers here. I pop those. Good. And I think I stayed in here because he... Oh, okay. So... So I try to stay in there because I have thorns and I want to try to get some benefit off of that. I know I have iron bark. I pre iron bark this. I knew that I was going to be okay. And then we end up just going through with the end of this. Following him through. We have our, so our claw up in two seconds. That's going to be probably my kill. Because remember, in a 1v1 situation, they can't spell that claw. Super, super strong. We end up just trying to kite him out. Make sure, make sure I'm okay. And then throw the claw on. Just kite him out. No reason to ever play in on that. Take advantage of your dots. You have very strong dots as Resto. And you can definitely take advantage of that, especially if you have a Voodoo Doll or a um, Obsidian Claw. Alright, so this one, this was another one here we got. This one's going to be a little different. So in this situation here, just to break it down first, um, my, my DPS died. And I noticed that this monk had no mana. 
I have no mana myself. You're going to see, I think, when I shift out. So I got no mana as well. Barely any health. But because he has no mana, I definitely wanted to give it a shot. Because he can't heal it anyway, right? As long as I can stop the drinks, he won't be able to recover. I think we're pretty deep in damp. Might be some deeply in damping as well. Alright, so... My kill window here is going to be the monk. 100% the monk. Warrior, as we saw in the last video, aren't too hard to kind of uh, get the 1v1 in because they don't have um, healing or random um, mobilities that can keep them alive. So we're going to be looking for a kill window onto the monk. So again, wait, wait for the stun DR watching over here. Once that comes down, I'm going to be going for the rake. I do have my claw up. This is going to be something. I'm going to be doing a, uh, one of my openers from the, the other video. Throw my claw. Fight him. I got a half stun. He actually battered that half stun, which is good. Um, and I ended up not getting the kill. But I know I'm not killing here, so I got to retreat. Even though this guy's getting a little low, I have to retreat. Get away. I ended up missing my leap there. So my goal right now, I use thorns to try to get the warrior off me. And I'm just trying to live right now. Just live. So again, this monk has no mana. He can't heal himself up anyway. So as long as he stays in combat, we should have a chance. Jump back up there. Just using all the mobility tips and tricks I got. Trying to stay alive the best I can. Just keeping my hots up. Kiting him out. I actually see I have a voodoo doll there. So I actually went for another kill window. We actually forced out the life cocoon. So just because um, I had the trinket up. I know it doesn't have mana. All I wanted to do is just try to get that trinket out. To do as much damage as I possibly can. Again we just keep keep poking at him with those restelts. The key of these is the restelts. Because our rake is doing 60% more damage out of stealth. And be able to kite him out after that damage. Because we're, we're trying to just win off the dots. This got really close. We didn't get him there. So again, we're going to be doing the same thing. Rinse and repeat. Stun DR is falling off. He's got no trinket. I don't have any of my offensive trinkets up. So I'm just going to have to do my best to kite this guy out. And try to force restelts. Because restelts is what's going to win me in this game. Because I'm not killing. I'm not going to be able to keep up with this monk. Unless I can get him. Uh... Ooh, and then we get a stun there. We trinket that. And what I saw here is this guy's very low he's got no healing left what abilities do i have that can give me a fast instant damage my concentrated flame the concentrated flame is coming up in four seconds here all aside from that all we gotta do is make sure we do not get knocked out by this warrior or not get or not get killed and i'm just kiting him out just do not let this warrior touch me i don't care if the monk hits me cannot let this warrior touch me i end up getting one poke and then i get it and then i get to secure the kill so again here what we're going to be looking for the same as the other game we try to get that restealth so we actually go get the stealth off, but again, we get knocked out. Again, just kite. Try to throw up as many hots as I can. Keep kiting. Here's a good, um, it's a little quick, quick tip that I did here. So I want, I needed to get a little bit of distance from this warrior, right? I have thorns. I just proc thorns. But remember, warriors can reflect thorns, and it does a pretty decent amount of damage. But all I wanted was one tick to initiate the slow. So I end up pressing thorns. I see his reflect, and then I and then I cancel it off. So if you want to, if you look again right here. Look over here on my frame. I, I see that I see that the he proxy reflect. I take off the thorns immediately with the with the cancel thorns macro. So now I got all I got is my space. That's all I needed. So as long as I can live this little go, I got lucky with a regoth uh, regoth proc there. I get the restealth. Now this is all I was waiting for. Just get that restealth, kind of settle the game down. Hopefully you let my heals get me up. I have my Yuseris gift going. This guy is uh, running relentless too, so you can't get out of my stuns. So we're kind of just chilling for a second. Again, wait for those kill windows. He's going to pick up the eye, I believe. But now we just got to watch this eye. to watch his debuff up top. And I just kite him out. He actually doesn't even see me. And I get the stun off, luckily there. If he saw me, uh, that probably would have been bad. Throw my, my, my claw on him. And then I just, again, kite him out again. Get another re-stealth. And do it all again. Try to wait out the DR. Eight seconds. wait this out okay and then we're gonna probably gonna poke in here we have five seconds on my voodoo doll that's what gonna be my kill opportunity so we're just gonna wait to the end of the last two seconds here he picks up the eye gets a little extra damage taken we rake them we throw the voodoo we throw a bite flame and we just try to kite him out the rest because we can still die we don't have mana so he gets a stun i got a little scared here actually because he didn't die from that voodoo doll and he procs a uh shout i think yeah rallying cry luckily we secured the kill there and we got that victory so we have one more video today. All right. So this is another video we got. Let me skip through this one a little bit. All right. I think uh, I was playing with a very undergeared uh, warlock. We're actually reading an affliction lock. This is kind of odd. Um, oh, we got to make it work anyway. So I end up. I think that my 
yeah, I went for I just went for the kill opportunity. So this is something I I did because I knew he. <laughs> I know it's kind of doubting my partner's ability there, but he's just not geared enough. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to heal through this. He had dark glare up. He had all his cooldowns out. Athlock was taking him out 100. So I saw that the druid did not have a trinket, and I did have a, a restealth with a bash off. So I wanted to I shouldn't have bash here. Um, so I wanted to try to take advantage of that one little kill window so that maybe I can knock this down to a 1v1 right away. It ends up not happening. Um, the Druid lives. But, and, and my partner died. So now, we're going to go back to the... So we're going to try to be focused on killing this Druid. So I, I, do, I'm, I do not want to try to focus on killing the lock. Just for the sheer fact that I do not want to risk going into his line of sight. Because then that's where, that's where I can die. This Druid, odds are the Druid is not going to be able to kill me himself. Especially because this guy is F. Um, he's not gonna be getting those crazy bolts off. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep kiting him out. Maybe we skip through this a little bit. Again, I, the, remember the, the key things you gotta look for when you when we're trying to find these openings for the one for the one v two, or like, is to use my opener that I used in my previous guide um, to try to take this guy down in a one, in a one stun window. So I see still he has no trinket, um, and so right now I'm just kind of delaying the game. Until I get my either my Voodoo Doll up or my uh, Forbidden Obsidian Claw. Because I know that I can maybe kill him in a Trinket. Um, in a, or in a Sun DR. He, end up, he ends up Iron Barking. I just clone him. Because I, I, I juked his kick. Tighten it out. Just never let the lock hit me. I don't mind if the... if The um, the, uh, the the Druid hits me. But I just make sure the lock gets as little uptime as possible. So this guy's... They're still full health. They're still looking healthy. We still have hope. Still think we can do this. So we have 23 second window here before we have a, um, our uh, trinket up. So unfortunately here, it looks like his trinket right here is going to line up with my voodoo doll. So when I do go for my voodoo doll, uh, my, or my next trinket go, I'm going to I'm gonna be, have to use my bash very quickly. Because usually I want to try to force out the trinket before I do one of these goes. Um, but if I don't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to, I know, I need to keep in my head that I need to be able, be able to stun right off. All right, so we just barely get away there with the Obsidian Claw. We're just kiting out the lock again. Um, Druid used Iron Bark. He's got no Iron Bark now. I think this is where I'm going to like... Yes, okay. All right, so this is where I'm seeing I, I need to go now. I, I'm not going to be able to live much longer. This guy's on top of me. So I'm going to be... I go for the pre-hot, I think, here. Or pre-dot, I should say. So I got a five-point combo point rip-up. I got my Sunfire up, my Moonfire up. This is the this is going to be our best-case scenario. So usually when I do this, I want to try to get them as low as possible before I go. Just for the off chance that they get that little bit of gap and able to get out. Alright, so we have full row of dots on him. We Moonfire and Sunfire again. We have Rip Up. We're going to go for it here. This is going to be a Shadow Meld into a on you Trinket. I think I end up using Claw here instead of Voodoo Doll. Um, but remember what I said before? So I see he does not He does have Trinket Up. So I got to be ready to bash. That is more important than any other button I press. I need to be able to stun him off so that he cannot dispel it. All right, so we go for the Shadow Meld here. We use our Onyus Trinket. I see that he trinkets. I got to immediately bash him to, to, to cover over the claw. And we end up getting nice, we get some lucky crits there. We take him out with some big Concentrate of Flames. I think we had a 75k Flame in there. And then we take him out. All right, so this was a few examples of kind of, I was trying to run down what, uh, what goes on kind of in my head when I go through these 1v2s with you guys. Um, I'm going to try to do a little more of these here and there. Try to break down some more games. I love doing this commentary stuff. Um, so that's going to be it for today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys ever have any questions or stuff you want to see, maybe some different types of R Druid gameplay, uh, more 1v2s, 1v1s, um, strats for each class. I do plan on making a more mobility survival guide as well. And yeah, we'll hope to see you in the next one. Peace.